Hello everybody, my name's Ben Dunnell, I'm the editor of Aircraft Magazine and I'm one of the commentators here at the Royal International Air Tattoo 2010. We'll be going up close with the F-22 Raptor, which is making its European public debut here at RIAT 2010. And we'll be talking to the display pilot, Major Zeke Skalitsky, about what makes this incredible jet tick. It's also an important weekend for one of the most historic aircraft here, Vulcan XH-558, which celebrates its 50th birthday this year. We'll be going on board with the aircraft later on. It's a really big show, this one, of course. Over eight hours of flying, large numbers of static aircraft. We'll be talking to the public about what they thought. But let's kick things off with our 60-second highlights of the flying programme. Major Dave Zeke Skalitsky, commander of the F-22 demonstration team. So my job as the uh, uh, F-22 demonstration team commander is to take the world's first fifth generation fighter, the F-22, and showcase it to the public on uh, both the U.S. and world stage uh, like we are here at Riyadh. The aircraft has so much capability. The leap in technology from a fourth generation fighter to a fifth generation fighter like the F-22 and F-35 is amazing. And people see it right from the takeoff when I square up the jet right into the vertical and start putting it through a sequence of maneuvers that a lot of other airplanes can't execute. Actually, the, uh, the maneuver sequence that I'm executing uh, while I'm flying the display are actually right in the heart of the envelope for the, uh, the aircraft. So performing those maneuvers is actually uh, relatively simple in terms of my inputs to the, to the flight controls. And see, and that's one of the things that separates the F-22 from a lot of the other jet demonstrations is these are combat-coated aircraft. They're in a go-to-war configuration. All we're, all, the only thing we don't have are live missiles, bombs, and bullets on the aircraft. Um, but there's nothing modified about these aircraft, and we're operating right in the heart of the envelope for where it's designed to fly. I, I like the entire demonstration. It's a thrill for me every time I get to do it, and every time I get to interact with the crowd and showcase uh, the capability that we have uh, with this fifth generation fighter. But probably my favorite maneuvers are the, uh, the power loop where I kind of stand the jet on end and flip it end over end just within its own uh, uh, wingspan really, uh, or nose to tail span of the aircraft. And also the tail slide when it's actually sliding backwards. A lot of other planes can't do that or they're worried about the engine. And that's right in the heart of the envelope for this uh, aircraft. It does it with no problem, does it effortlessly. This is my first time over in the UK and, and Everybody since I've been here has been phenomenal, and interacting with the crowd, everyone's been so friendly. Uh, and, and to come here to Riyadh, which is a phenomenal event, uh, and celebrate the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, it's been amazing. It's been an absolutely amazing experience, and I'm gu guaranteed I'm coming back because uh, uh, I want to spend some more time over here. This has been great. Yeah, Riyadh's a great event for us. It's uh, one of the quintessential air shows of the season, uh, and it gives us a chance both to display the aircraft in front of the public, uh, which is what we our core objective, and also to take people around the aircraft on the ground in guided tours. Um, it, we're taking the aircraft back to the people, which is the whole point of the project. Um, and getting so many of them so close to the aircraft pays dividends. So we're having a great show this year. Uh, we're selling lots of merchandise. We're making lots of money from the aircraft tours. And uh, we're looking forward to the display at, to, to close the show this afternoon. came here to see in particular probably the red arrows in all honesty um, but yeah see all the old aircraft as well the um, Natchez Schmidt and the Spitfire stuff like that. Look we came to see the Raptor mostly yes it was a very impressive display and of course the Vulcan's got to be seen hasn't it. 
the A400M. Did you enjoy the display then? Oh, I did. It was brilliant. That was really, really good because I worked for Airbus, so oh, it good to see. It's lovely to see the Vulcan flying as well. It's well worth the wait. I mean, it's the end of the day and it's well worth the wait. Particularly the Vulcan and the Raptor, really, for this uh, particular show. You can see the F22 Raptor and uh, the three hour. Uh, delay in the traffic was worth it just to see the Raptor. The Raptor we came to see today, absolutely fantastic, really enjoyed it, really good show. Come here to see the Vulcan and it was splendid. At least it's not raining like it was last year, we left in two hours. <laughs> yeah, I've had a great time, yeah, I saw the Raptor, F-22, the Vulcan, absolutely brilliant day. I came to see the Harrier, I love the Harrier and of course the Vulcan <laughs> and everything, really loved it. The whole show is just amazing. Well, it's been a memorable and on Saturday sunny weekend here at Fairford commemorating the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain.